Mystery bag, mystery bag, it's another mystery bag from those good people at Mighty Lancer Games. Yeah, I think that jingle needs some work. Hello, welcome to the Battling Barrow, and yes, it is another mystery bag from uh, the awesome people at Mighty Lancer Games. I did say I was going to do these uh, one a month this year, and we are already into the third month, and I haven't done one. Well, I suppose New Year's Day technically counts as one, so I missed February. Uh, yeah, sorry, a lot's going on in my life, uh, but we are here with a mystery bag. But before we do the mystery bag, um, I placed a f for me a fairly hefty order because I wanted to get the uh, free shipping. But it's stuff I needed anyway, so I thought I'd just quickly run through that as well because uh, there's some interesting items in here. And uh, people who watched my D and D recaps will be wondering what the heck I'm doing but anyway first up just some simple stuff some paints I no longer use Citadel paints they have priced me out of the market um, I use coat arms as my main source of paint but they're really hard to come by in the UK uh, you can get them from the source really uh, occasionally I've got nostalgia 88 as well but they're even harder and I use old Citadel colors from like the 80s and 90s and they are super hard so um no matter what paints I use anyway, I always put them into coat arm style pots. So uh, if I can uh, drop a load of stuff, I can't get to it anyway. Uh, but yeah, they, so they uh, would, I drop, no matter what I do, I drop them. Oh, all that noise banging around in my desk. and ooh, tea uh, Yeah, I drop them into a sort of coat arm paint. So uh, my contrast paints I did like, um, I drop into these pots anyway so my paint rack is geared up for this style of pot so these won't fit so what I'm going to do is drop these into these pots um so that's my plan anyway I needed uh an old citadel color uh dark flesh for this what I use for uh, so like a terracotta color I use this for roofs and I got some roofs to paint so uh, I've got that so that'll be dropped into one of these and you know citadel paints like almost a fiver these are three quid so uh he uh Army Painter, that's from Vallejo, that last one. Army Painter do uh, contrast paints, effectively speed paint. So uh, this will just be dropped straight into there. Dark wood, I shall remove the Citadel label and replace it with this. Has a ball bearing in, but hey ho. And uh, hard, hardened leather, I'm hoping that's going to be like snake bite leather because I do like that colour, but you know, I can't afford Citadel paints anymore. Who can, apart from, I don't know, Prince Harry? So what, what have we got else did we get? Oh, some little town terrain pieces. Um, a bar. We are forever in the bars. I've made my own bar. I've got um, a nautical themed bar. And I just wanted a standard bar. And this is from Reaper. And it's lovely in detail. So let's have a quick look at that. Look at that. Great. So it's sort of got barrels and what have you there. So uh, like that. Some stocks. Uh, just because I wanted some stocks. A whiskey stocks. Two stocks. So hey. Um, I wanted to get some uh, fishy, harbory townsfolk, so what better than some fishmongers from Dreadmere. Now well, this dude, I think I'm going to have him run in a pub. <laughs> I need a pub who is a ex-fisherman. He's going to be perfect as a landlord for a pub. And this lady here who looks like she's selling a haddock. Uh, so that's great. I love these. Reaper's just great, isn't it? Uh, Sticking with town folk, most of this is town folk. Um, this is most important. I need this for tomorrow at the time of recording this for tomorrow's game. So I, after I finish recording this, I shall be painting up Goose Lady. Look at that, Goose Lady. Uh, she is a lady, exactly what it says on the packet. She is a lady holding a goose. Now, uh, I'm hoping yeah, I'll be playing the game before this video goes up for my players. But do you remember in my game Chicken Man? He now has a wife of Goose Lady. <laughs> yep. Uh, also, in a future game, not for tomorrow, but for a future game, I need some interesting uh, jesters and characters. Now, I made out like a bandit two times here. One, 
I needed, or three times really, and that's what these last miniatures are, I needed a guy kind of holding a pig, and the pig's going to run rampant at one point in a future game. Um, quite a difficult miniature to have, but no, <laughs> I have a guy holding a pig. It is a dwarf butcher. Now, he's going to be cutting the pig up, which works for me for a little mini event I've got in mind uh, based on the... Um, Warhammer fantasy role-playing game starter set uh, intro adventure so uh, I think people might be able to guess if they played that where I'm going with this if you have played it and know what I'm where I'm going with this uh, let me know in the comments yes we have a man with a pick I needed some street performers I already had a jester in the castle uh, royal castle set that I got so I need some more jesters and street performers some, something interesting so again reaper with a dwarf uh, this sort of puppeteer dwarf jester love that dwarf and berserk jester but yeah he will fit in with the cavalcade in my mind and lastly I needed and I thought this would be impossible uh, to get hold of I needed uh, two halflings standing on each other's shoulders forming a tall person um, couldn't quite get there but there's a company called uh, Bad Squibbo Games Bad Squiddo Games and look at that two halflings on each other's shoulders in street performing type gear this is perfect thank you there Alan Marsh oh, perfect 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 so this is Bad Squiddo Games this is my first Bad Squiddo Games model uh, so Who's this one? By Annie... I can't read your name there, sorry. Uh, Annie... Anyway, it's obviously a company by Annie. Uh, I think I follow Bad Squiddo Games on Twitter. I didn't actually realise they were... Uh, they just did interesting tweets and they do miniatures. So, um, if they do interesting miniatures like this, I shall be getting a few more of these. Have you ever used Bad Squiddo Games uh, miniatures? Let me know. But now, on to the main event, which I have pulled up with miniatures over in this corner. It's mystery bag, a mystery bag. Time to open the mystery bag. Yeah, uh, if you can think of a better jingle, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, competition, uh, best jingle gets used. Uh, doesn't get any other prize apart from massive kudos. Send me your jingles. Uh, okay, so what have we got? I love these mystery bags. Okay, so I should point out, this is for Mighty Lancer Games. It's $5.99. It's a blind bag. Uh, normally, I hate these kind of things. Uh, but then I got into them when they started doing the Reaper Bones box or the miniature box. And then now they started doing these blind boxes. I bought one, loved it. And what's not to love? You get miniatures. And okay, so perfect. So I think I got this in the last one little goblin crossbow but i loved him i did i can see him crossing my paint thing i loved him and i was just looking at this earlier and today thinking i want to get more goblins of this type looking like this and boom i got another one so that is instantly off to a good start okay who we got here we got a wingy guy Ooh, little oh i think he's got a is that his towel i'm hoping that's no no there's his towel there's his towel he's got a pee pee I think that's a pee pee. Um, he's got a pee pee. So he's a naked demon guy with a pee pee. Uh, but he is great. He's a little demon familiar type guy. Uh, he is fun. Let us uh, pick up. Oh, blimey. Oh, wow. Is that some sort of undead warrior skeleton lord awesome thing? Is he look. I love that. Is this my Reaper? It is. It is. I think that's my Reaper. Yeah, it's 2020. It does look somewhat skeletal, doesn't it? I love that. <gasps> What's that? He's got a little dragon thing down there. Rat thing? Rat. I know for a rat. He's some sort of. Oh, I like him future villain in the making oh yes super happy with this 
And lastly, going back to Swig Potion, as adventurers I want to do. I'll make out the face. Where is there? This is uh, Blacklist Miniatures. I always guess by the uh, non reap through the base. Uh, okay, it's a lady. I also couldn't make out the face anyone because it's slightly off focus. So it's a lady adventurer. Yeah, okay, so yeah, female adventurer. This is a harder plastic then. Not by much. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, this is a hard plastic, but this feels. I don't know. It's a different type of plastic to reuse. But nonetheless, I've painted a few of these up that I got from the Advent Calendar and I think the last blind box mystery bag. And they pick up really well, really detailed. Uh, yeah, so she looks like she's chucking a potion. Some sort of female fighter, I'm guessing. What do you reckon? What would you use this miniature for? Now in the comments. So yeah, as per usual, I'm really happy with these just because they build up miniatures like this and sometimes I tend to buy, well you did used to buy just loads of Orcs and Undead and got under a rut where stuff like this gives you an idea for, you know, uh, an encounter possibly, a mini adventure. Yeah, okay, let's do this. <laughs> Look at these, uh, and what would you do with this as an encounter? Perhaps have this as a PC if you like. Uh, here's an encounter. Here's the models for your encounter. Let me know in the comments your encounter, your adventure, your whatever you've grown with these models, and I will announce the best one on the next a mystery bag unboxing video, uh, which will hopefully be next month. So yeah, let me know. Yeah, what's what? So, uh, mystery pack. Let's go down to. Uh, I suppose, really. I was going to try and do some sort of thumbnail thing, but I suppose. Uh, there we go. <laughs> How to end this video. There we go. Me messing around. Cool. Right, that's it. Till the uh, next video, guys. Stay safe, take care, bye-bye.